Hey guys, it's Bailey. Lisa with The Pressure's On Cooking. And that would be my husband being a turd. Um, so tonight we are going to do meatloaf and uh, mashed shred potatoes at the same time in the Instant Pot. We're going to put the um, potatoes on the bottom and we'll put a, a trivet tray on top of that and then we will put our meatloaf inside of a bump pan right inside the Instant Pot at the same time. Um, as you could probably see behind me, if you haven't, you've been watching me for a while, we haven't been doing too many, uh, YouTube videos because we've been, uh, painting the inside of the house. So the house has been kind of a mess and we finally got it all put back together and I'm excited to do another video. So let's, uh, let's get at it. We're going to cut up our potatoes first and put them in with a cup of beef broth and then we'll move on to the meatloaf. All right. So I just start with a bag of petite red potatoes and chop them all up basically into fourths and this is about about a pound and a half of potatoes Alright, so we've cut up all of our potatoes, which are right there. We're going to put in a cup of beef broth, right in the bottom. And then we're going to put our trivet tray right on top, so that our meatloaf has somewhere to sit once we get it all going. So let's go ahead and move on to our meatloaf. Alright, so we're going to start with two pounds of beef. And then we're going to do one and a half cups of breadcrumbs. One and a half. And then we will do a cup of Parmesan cheese. Get that all broke up in there. Meatloaf is one of those really versatile recipes. I will have the recipe in the comments like normal or in the description. But obviously, you guys can make it however you want and just use this technique for cooking it. Alright, we'll do. This recipe calls for a teaspoon of Montreal steak seasoning. So we're going to go ahead and follow that because I had it. Some pepper. Hopefully my bowl is big enough. It might not be. And because I ran out of a salt shaker, salt. And then four eggs. And normally I do two eggs, so this recipe calls for four and I'm following it. Go ahead and start going in here with my hands and getting it all mixed up and hopefully I have enough room. Alright, so our meat is all mixed up. I have washed my hands. Um, of course, I used two pounds of hamburger, but you could use... You know, a pound of hamburger, a pound of hamburger and sausage, whatever you like. I'm going to use a bump pan. It fits perfectly into the Instant Pot. I use this for my meatloaf and for my cornbread. But what I've learned is make sure you 
spray this really well so it doesn't stick. Um, you can also make a tin foil sling for it, which is what I used to do before I got my bump pan. Um, or you can make like a tin foil bowl. But we're going to go ahead and start putting this in here. You guys can hear my two-year-old in the back yelling at her sisters for whatever reason. All right, we're going to get this on here, and then we're going to go ahead and put a um, tin foil on top. Make sure you get this even. Uh, this is the most even way to to cook meatloaf. I've seen, I saw this on um, Press Your Luck cooking. If you guys haven't watched Pressure Luck cooking, some great recipes, some great tips. That's why I started cooking, why I started using Instapot. I started watching him and he was awesome. And so very entertaining. And so made me super confident in doing my Instapot. So I suggest everybody else watch him as well. All right. So we are about done here all right I will be right back after I wash my hands all right hands washed again go ahead and take a piece of tin foil put this over here And when this is all done cooking, we'll go ahead and put, put some barbecue sauce on it and throw it in the broiler to get it nice and caramelized. Can you say hi? Hi. It's Cam. She's sad she didn't get to help me this time. And put a hole in the middle so that you have even movement of steam. And then, there's Kenna. And then, move this over here. You see that? And we'll put this right on top. All right. There we go. It fits perfectly. And make sure our seal is good. And we'll plug her in. The whole family wanted in on it today. All right, so go from, we're venting right now. Put it over the ceiling. Now it's on the off position. And we're gonna go manual. And we're gonna make sure it's on high pressure. And we're gonna push the plus button up to 35 minutes, which is a stark difference from cooking it in your oven for an hour to an hour and a half. So we're going to go 35 minutes at high pressure, and then it says on, and we'll come back at you when she's done. And we've come to pressure about a minute ago, and you know that because our float valve it's flush. I'll see y'all back in 33 minutes. All right, as you can see, we've come to pressure. It is now going to start counting up instead of down. This recalls, this recipe calls for a quick release, which means we're going to just flip the, the seal. Now I throw a towel on it to catch up most of it. It's going to have a lot of liquid in it. Um, they do make little valves that redirect the steam. I just haven't um, obtained one yet. So once the steam's out, uh, we'll go ahead and open this and see what it looks like. I'm also going to start our broiler and get that ready. Alright, so we've pulled it out. Got it right here. I've started working on my barbecue glaze. It works really well when you have a bump pan like this. The uh, internal temperature 
was over 170 so it came out just perfect and we're gonna go ahead and put this in the broiler for a little bit and work on our mashed potatoes all right All right, so hopefully you guys can see this pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put in, now you can make your mashed potatoes however you make your mashed potatoes, but this is how I'm gonna do it. Two tablespoons of butter, a fourth of a cup of half and half, and two teaspoons of fresh minced garlic. If you guys have never seen an immersion blender, this is what it is, and this is how I do my mashed potatoes. It's super easy, makes them super smooth, because I'm not a big chunky potato fan. Let's go ahead and do this. That's how smooth it is. All right, I'm gonna grab the meatloaf out of the oven and we'll see our finished product. And there we go, folks. That's our finished product of the meatloaf. And there you go, folks. Our completed dinner. How's dinner? Good. Good? How? How's dinner? Good. All right, y'all have a good night. Say goodnight.